The Miu Mini Plus is an amazing little retro gaming friend, and everyone knows the Miu Mini is way better with Onion OS, but that's a lot of work. You need to install it, set it up, copy over the games. If only there was a place you could buy a Miu Mini Plus with Onion OS all pre-installed and pre-configured ready to rock. Oh wait, there is. How you doing? I'm TechTweeb, welcome. Thanks for clicking on the video today. So yeah, the Mi Mini Plus is an amazing budget retro handheld. It's my number one most recommended retro handheld because you get so much gaming goodness for the price. The Miu Mini is a thousand times better with Onion OS installed. However, it's, it's quite a bit of extra work to get it all installed and all set up on your device. A lot more work than just getting it all set up for you. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of excited and curious to check out what I got in the mail the other day. Uh, this is a package from Lit NXT. They sent this to me and I didn't know they were sending extra stuff and I, I wanted to see what was in there so I opened it up and I saw that there was a whole bunch of stuff for the Miu Mini Plus so I closed it up because I wanted to open it on camera. So this is basically what you're gonna want to get if you want the complete Miu Mini Plus experience. All the accessories including the Miu Mini Plus itself with Onion OS pre-installed. All set up with all the games and all configured and ready to go. And if you want to pick one up for yourself, there's a link in the description below. Like I said, I, I already took a peeky peek, so I sort of know what's in here. But you don't, so it'll be fun for you. Wow, look at all that crap. I, I mean stuff. It's not crap. It's, it's good stuff. Uh, here's our Miu Mini Plus. We'll unbox that in a minute. We have a case. It's black. And inside, it's also black. A pract practical, useful item there. Okay, uh, so th this is a grip. Uh, supposed to make your Mi Mini Plus more comfortable. It looks like it's 3D printed and it has a softer felt texture on the inside stuck on in there. I have never used a grip on any of my retro handhelds, believe it or not. So this will be interesting for me. Oh look, there's a bag. Uh, look at that. Uh, a lit NXT bag. And they, had, they have their own graphics and everything. So this is like a gift bag. Oh, hey, Christmas is coming up. If you want to buy yourself a Miu Mini and all the accessories to give yourself for Christmas and you want to wrap it up to make it feel like someone who loves you gave it to you, even though you're just spending Christmas by yourself, you can just shove all that stuff in this bag and then put it under the Christmas tree and then pretend that you're surprised on Christmas morning. <laughs> That'd be fun. Nice quality bag too. And an extra screen protector. And then we have this thing. This is a dock to charge the device. Interesting. Oh, okay, so this is one of those USB-C cords with a detachable magnetic USB-C plug. And then you could take this off and plug it in here, and it's magnetic. That's, that's pretty cool. But we'll try this out in a bit. And that's the stuff. So let's clear this place out and move on to the main event. Uh, what's that? Oh, oh, it's like a sticker to put on the front. <laughs> Did Lit NXT put these in here? Did these just come with the Miu Mini now? I don't know. Yeah, you can make it look like space or Saved by the Bell. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that later. And there's our instruction word paper. <laughs> Some instruction words in there if you need them. And it comes with a screen protector as well, which I'm not going to use. I like to live dangerously. And we have a USB-C cable and the world's crappiest micro SD card reader. And the moment of truth. Ah, there it is. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, this is my first time seeing the black version and it looks amazing. I could get, get that off. Uh, oh, right, the buttons. That reminds me. Um, there's one more special thing that I'm going to do here. Uh, I hate the Skittles buttons on these things. These are cheesy looking to me. So check this out. I got another upgrade. I got this from Sakura Retro Modding on Etsy. I got some replacement buttons. We're going to replace these fun, colorful buttons with plain, depressing black buttons, just so we can live in the darkness instead of having a hint of fun in our lives. We'll do that in a bit. All right, well, here's the Miu Mini Plus, if you haven't been introduced. I'm not going to go into depth here. It's a pretty simple device. Standard, easy to understand controls, all the basic stuff. The controls are really good. Uh, let's take a look at this micro SD card because this is one new thing. This is where our Onion OS installation is with all our games all preloaded. 128 gigabytes. That's a lot of storage for a device like this, but uh, I'm curious to see how they filled this up. 
It could be good, could be crappy. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see in a bit. Whoa, Lynn NXT coming out with a custom boot logo. <laughs> That's impressive. And it looks like we're all up and running. That's good. Uh, so uh, real quick, I just want to check if my tech dweeb skin is pre-installed. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So if you get a Miu Mini Plus with Onion OS pre-installed, you can immediately enable the tech dweeb skin, which is the best skin. So that's good. I'll give you a tour of Onion OS in a minute, but I'm just going to do the button swap now. I just wanted to make sure that it started up and worked before I started poking around inside. So yeah, it's a pretty simple process to swap out the buttons. You got to remove the battery, start unscrewing the screws, take all those out, and you can open it up like a book, being careful with that ribbon cable on the left side, of course. Pop out those old buttons and then add your new buttons and then put it back together. Okay, all done. Moment of truth. Are you ready to see how this looks? Uh, let's do the reveal. Dramatic. Oh yeah, look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Black buttons down there, concave ones at the top and convex ones at the bottom. I think this looks a million times better than the Skittles buttons. I love this Game Boy retro vibe, that's my jam, but I gotta say that this blacked out version is super classy. Oh, while we're here messing around, let's try this dock. I'm curious how this works. So there's the dock and we can put the Mew Mini on there. And when you plug it in, uh, the little bit can stay in the device. It's pretty unobtrusive, so it's like a quick charger. And you can plug it into the dock the same way. And then check this out. There's also a magnetic connection on the dock itself. So you can leave this little low profile dongle in your Mew Mini Plus and just slap it down on the dock when you want to charge it. No plugging required. And it fits fine with the grip that's on there too. And you can plug it in while using the grip. <laughs> this is some next level Miu Mini Plus lifestyle gear right here. Okay, that was fun. Let's uh, check out the actual thing. Okay, so here we are in Onion OS. I went back to the basic theme so that I could show you how it'll come out of the box. Uh, let me give you a quick tour if you're not familiar with Onion OS. You have recent games, favorites. Uh, this is where your game libraries are. Wow, uh, quite a lot in there. Interesting. Uh, we'll check that out in a bit. Extra is some extra emulators, standalone emulators or different cores if you need those. Apps, this is just some tools and stuff that you can use on the mini. And settings, which is where you can change the screen settings, connect to Wi-Fi, view the device info. So uh, over in the theme browser, you get over 50 themes, but the only one that you need is the TechWeeb theme, obviously. And you could turn that on and boom, you're in TechWeeb's basement. Oh, uh, you know what we need to try? We need to try that grip. Let's see how this goes. Oh, heck yeah. Wow. I, I thought the grip looked kind of cheap. And, and it does. It's obviously 3D printed, but dang, if it ain't comfy. I'm definitely going to be using this. Uh, real quick, I just want to show you a great feature of Onion OS. The way it handles the auto save and load. So while you're in a game, you can tap this center button and it'll pause your game and exit the game and save a screenshot. And then you can go back and forth between the last games that you played and you can get the game switcher up from the main menu by pressing that button. And when you choose your game, you'll be right where you left off. And one more cool thing, if you're in a game and you hold the power button, it'll save your game and power off the device. And then when you turn on the device, it'll take a few seconds to boot up and then it'll drop you right back where you left off in your game. It's su such a smart and useful feature of Onion OS. One of my favorite parts of Onion OS. It, it makes it so easy for to use for gaming the way it should be. So let's go through the games collection and see how well they did. <laughs> They've got a ton of stuff in here, even some of the obscure stuff like ColecoVision or Commodore 64. Oh, Nintendo DS, that'll be fun to check out. DOS games, PS1, ports, Pico 8. All right, let's go through and check a few game sets. Let's start with MAME. 374 MAME games. So this isn't a complete MAME ROM set, but it's a really good ROM set as far as I could tell. They have all the 1940X games. Uh, what about Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah, they have those. And we get box art and screenshots. Let's try Dungeons and Dragons. Watch a video to learn how to use the arcade save states. Okay. Ah, so they explain how to save your state on arcade games, which is different than the regular way. That's useful. And then we're in our game and it's working great. And I love playing with this grip. It's so comfortable. Man, why did I wait so long to get a grip in my life? 
Let's uh, check out Atari, uh, 50 games. So this isn't complete. This is like a best of Atari list, which is good, I think. Most Atari games were garbage and it looks like they chose only the best ones to put on there. Oh, let's check out DS. This is a new system that's been added that the Miu Mini supports with Onion OS. So you can press R2 to swap the screens or press L2 to get the cursor on the screen. Uh, performance is really good. I could tell the game isn't running perfect. There are some drop frames and some minor audio abnormalities, but this is pretty darn close to perfect. I'm not going to check out everything, but let's do a deep dive on one system. Here's Game Boy. So when you first go into the games list, you'll see that it is not complete. So this list is like a best of list. None of the junk games are in here. And all the games have box art and screenshots pre-scraped, which is freaking awesome. But if you go up to the Miu collection, you can see that this is where the full ROM set is. 322 games in here. So they put all the best games in the base folder, but then they have a subfolder for the entire ROM set. And then they have this modern folder, and this is where you'll find like modern Game Boy games, like homebrew games or whatever that people have made for the Game Boy. And then there's a translations folder where you'll find a few non-English games that have been English language patched. And all the main retro systems are like this. For example, in Game Boy Advance, you can see that it's the same. It's a best of list in the main collection. However, there in the Miu collection, it has the entire freaking ROM set. And then they have these subfolders like hacks, which is ROM hacks. So this is like modified games with extra features and levels and stuff, and they keep it separate. And then there's a Pokemon hacks folder. And look at that, 31 Pokemon hacks. I don't know what any of this is, but it, maybe you do. And we get DOS games on there too, and they work fine. As usual, it, with DOS and RetroArch, you might need to change the key bindings depending on the game, but once you do that, it works great. Pico 8 isn't using the official software. This is the RetroArch emulator, so you won't get perfect Pico 8 performance, but you can get the official software on here if you want to, but you'll have to buy that separately. And uh, PS1, of course. Oh, look at this, 182 PS1 games. And these aren't just like cheesy crap games. This is all the best PS1 games. And there's a ton of them on here. Look at this, all the Final Fantasy games. My favorite PS1 game, Tron Bon. This game doesn't come preloaded on any device, but it's preloaded here. And they all run great. On the Mi Mini, you'll need to adjust this one option, show interlaced video. And then every single PS1 game will run at full speed without any issue. Oh man, I, I don't want this video to take ages, but look at these ports. They have Diablo, Redneck Rampage, Shadow Warrior, Blood, all the Duke Nukem games, Quake, Wolfenstein, all the freaking Doom games. Every Doom version you could ever want is on here. <laughs> look at this, Half-Life Doom. Oh, what the heck, man. Oh, I could spend hours going through these ports. What a hoot. <laughs> and one more random thing, look at this. They have the Turtles Kawabunga collection icon in here with the systems, but this is just uh, all the Ninja Turtles games from all the systems. That's a neat idea, I guess. So uh, overall, from my perspective, this is hands down the best ROM collection that I've ever seen on a preloaded retro handheld, ever. A lot of attention and care has been put into organizing these ROM sets so that they're useful and convenient and everything is all set up perfectly. Not a single issue with anything I tested. I, I couldn't have done it better myself. So uh, there you go. That's it. That's the tour. That's the Miu Mini Plus and Onion OS. <laughs> I freaking love the Miu Mini Plus and it's my most recommended handheld for good reason. You get so much in terms of the build quality, the bang for the buck performance, and you get an amazing operating system if you install Onion OS. And here, if you, you don't need to install it or add your own games or scrape the box art, it's all done for you, completely set up and ready to rock. Lit NXT sent me this stuff, but they didn't sponsor this video. I'm just showing you what they sent, and there's a lot of love and care put into all this stuff, and I think it's a solid product, and they have good prices over there, so I'm happy to give them a shout out. If you want the Mew Mini Plus preloaded with Onion OS or any of this extra stuff, you can buy it from Lit NXT linked in the description below. And that brings us to the end. I hope you found this useful or at least entertaining. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you are a Mew Mini Plus lover. What accessories do you have? What mods have you done? Uh, while you're down there, click the thumbs up button if you like the video. Or don't if you didn't. That, that's it for me. I'm TechTweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.